welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman along with John Rembold. He is the airport director for both the Beaufort Executive Airport and also the Hilton Head Airport. It's good to have you here. I hadn't seen you in a while. I know. Thanks. Great to be back. Yeah, and you had a busy summer, you said. Absolutely. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was a good summer. It was. A lot of people lot visiting. Of so, yeah, definitely a good summer. We were talking earlier about just the whole airline business. It's just going through a tough time. COVID, of course, and there's a pilot shortage. Um, so it's just, you know, some of the, you know, the civility with passengers. Right. And so it's a, it's a tough, you said it's a tough business. It is a tough business, but um, it's a lot of fun too. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. And we're really excited about the, the airport here in Hilton Head is expanding and we're in phase one. Finally, you got the contract awarded. Yes. Right, to a, a company, a construction company out of Charlotte. Right, Edison Ford is going to be mm -hmm. doing it and they've worked on other terminals and that before, so they're experienced and uh, we're really looking forward to getting that going. So the design is done and then now, boom. Correct. And when year, what, what is the kind of... Well, once they get started, it'll yeah. be a, a two-year construction okay. period in that first phase. And like I said, I, I hope that we'll move right, right into a second phase. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right, you're really here to talk about the Flying Frog 5K. That's right. Say that five <laughs> times fast, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> it's going to be on October the 28th. That's a Saturday. Yeah. And it actually is going to be at the Beaufort Executive Airport. Right. To benefit the... Altitude Academy. The Altitude Academy. So yeah. let's start with the, the Academy. Sure. And then we'll talk about the 5K. So what is it? Um, it's a group that started, oh, probably three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And what they do is it's a nonprofit that provides youth who might not otherwise be exposed to the aviation right. world that exposure. So they actually recently won a scholarship through the State um, Aeronautics Commission mm. to buy a simulator system for the oh, kids. Cool. So they're really getting going here and we're excited to team up with them. And is it for students, um, all age students or more high school in, in Beaufort County? I think they've got a pretty wide range. They've got some, some younger kids, okay. and uh, but primarily high school where they're really trying to feel out what their careers might be. Exposure is critical, isn't it? You know, I mean, it it, unless you're exposed to all the opportunities in your business, um, then you, you really wouldn't even think about it. Right. And, you know, so many people think of airplanes and pilots. But what about right. everything that goes into an airplane right. or everything that goes into training a pilot or the simulator business? All of that is aviation business. And in, in the aviation business also would be everybody on the ground. And then I would even think at the gates. And right. I mean, I, I've always been intrigued. I think if I had my career to do over, I might want to be like a gate attendant and, sure. and you know, greet folks. And, and <laughs> I, th I think that would be so fun. Not, well, I don't wouldn't want to be a flight attendant, but I think just being in that business, I think it'd be interesting. It is. It's fun. Yeah, it's very good. So exposing yeah. students. So that is the so the Altitude Academy will be the beneficiary of the Flying Frog 5K. Right. And so let's talk about the race. Is it a race? It is. is. It's, oh. it's a 5K race. So okay. not just 3.1 miles. So it's you can go out there and run it seriously if you want. You can walk it. We have, uh, you know, moms and dads out there with families, so they'll have young kids walking. There'll right. be strollers out there, and there'll be some guys who are really uh, guys yeah, and girls who are really zooming. Sir. In fact, our winner the last two years has been a young lady who is hard to beat. Um, but <laughs> now, it's it's a fast course. It's a flat course because well, it's. I on was, the runway. That's what we're going to say. So yeah. it's at the the airport, and is it on the run? So they're running on. It is. They will actually Did get they go, to run go back on the and runway. Forth or? Um, they've actually got two circuits of the airfield, so they get to be on the runway at two different times. Obviously, we close the field down, but what a cool <laughs> I experience! Hope so. Yeah, you know, and we make sure they know yeah, that. Right. <laughs> but uh, it's a really cool experience, Aww. and it's USA Track and Field certified. So okay. if anybody's out there to really set a land speed record, it will count. All right, and it's again, it's the twenty eighth. So. What time is it? The first thing in the morning? John? It is. It's an eight o'clock is when the gun goes off to start the race. So obviously runners know get there early, and uh, stretch out. And now, are you a runner? I am. You are. Oh, well, am. you look fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to be in the race? Are you going to race? I probably will. I have. I've run it the last three years. <laughs> okay. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be in town, but I think I will be. Okay, good. So I may surprise everyone. Okay, and then do you have to get a? You have to get a like a race. Um, you do, yep. Right. We have a sign up through runsignup.com. Okay. And there's Perfect. a very easy, you just search for the flying frog, and I promise we're the only flying frog out there. <laughs> <laughs> we run 
out of time. I really would like to know why it's called the Flying Frog, but we'll next time. Thank, Thank you. you, John Rimble, who is the airport director at both the Buford Executive and the Hilton Head Airports. Thanks, John. Thank you.